Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Living in Canada. In today's video I want to talk about Bixi in the city of Montreal and this is going to be a bit of a mini review where I'll talk about the bike itself, pricing, deposit, convenience and of course also the process of renting it from one of the docking stations. In May I went to Montreal for four days and initially I was planning to take public transportation there including the metro which is the subway in Montreal but as soon as I got to Montreal and I saw so many bike docking stations all around the city I was thinking to give it a try so first of all if you've never biked in Montreal before one of your questions might be is Montreal even a bike friendly city and the good news is that yes it is a very bike friendly city and in fact Montreal has been named one of the most bike friendly cities in North America by the Copenhagen Design Index everything is very well connected there are bicycle paths all around the city Before before I get into the details of the process of renting a bike from a Bixi docking station, let's first get into an overview about Bixi itself. Bixi is a non-profit organization in Montreal and I think that is what also explains the very good pricing. The Bixi network has more than 9,600 bikes, among which 7,270 are regular Bixis and 2,395 are electric Bixis, which I haven't tried it by the way. I really love the bikes. I would say that the bicycles were very comfortable to use so I'm not an expert in bikes at all so I can't really comment on the technical aspects but I would say overall these bikes are much better than the bikes of the bike sharing system here in Toronto which I feel are just much more clunkier and now let's take a look at the docking station because when using bike sharing one of the most important questions is also how easy can I find a bike and also how easy can I return it are there enough docking stations around in the city so at any point in time if I'm done using it I can just park it somewhere and not spend an hour looking for a docking station so let's look at the map of docking stations right here and you can see that all over Montreal there are big C docking stations and the network is very dense and I experienced this firsthand so we would rent some big C bikes over here and then we use them for only about five minutes eight minutes or so and also to make your life easier you can simply download the Big C app where you can easily check out all the docking stations. Now before we talk about pricing, how much it costs to rent a Big C bike, let's first talk about how you can actually rent the bike from a Big C station. But before we do that guys, if you found this video useful so far then please do me a favor and hit the like button and also if you want to get more videos like this then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also turn notifications on to all notifications so that YouTube will let you know each and every time there is a new video from me. So let's take a look at how you can rent a Bixi bike. So here I am together with my brother at a Bixi station in Montreal and we're approaching the machine. It turns out that it is super super straightforward and uh, it's not just in French. Don't worry there's also an English version to everything. So we simply press on start. Okay and the first thing that the machine asks us to do before we go any further is to insert our card. And by the way, these are one of the card slots where you insert your card and have to release it immediately to continue. Otherwise, the machine won't process it. And that mechanism will prevent you from forgetting your card and having it stuck there in the machine. So we click next and go on one-way pass because we just wanted to get the one-way pass. We didn't want to get the membership. And here, because there were three of us, we clicked on three, three bikes and they also prompted us to input our phone number. Okay, that was very easy and here are our tickets. So here you can see that the subscription type is a one-way pass number of bicycles is three and I paid an initial fee of $3.45 here and I'll explain more about that later. So we had our codes and I think it was a three or four digit codes and each of us used that code to unlock a bike from the docking station. So here's the first bike and you have to really pull a bit. So here you can have a better look at the bike. The bike has gears and it also has this small basket in the front. And since each of us only had a backpack with us, I know very efficient traveling, we could just put our backpacks in front of the bike. Had we brought big suitcases with us, it would be much more complicated because we would need to check in first, leave our stuff there and so on. But in this case, we arrived in Montreal and we just walked around until we found a docking station and just rode the bicycle to our Airbnb. 
Okay guys, you can't see it on the screen, but actually you will get an option whether or not you want your five digit code to unlock the bike to be printed out or not. If you don't want it to be printed out, you can just read it off the screen and memorize it. But in this case, I printed it out and here, for example, our uh, code was 32112 and it was valid for five minutes. So don't wait and get a coffee first until you unlock the bike because after that, the code will be invalid. And here you can see we are on one of those, I think what is called contra flow or contra lanes where uh, there are two directions of bike lanes together side by side instead of on opposite sides of the street and you can see here we were waiting for the traffic light to turn green and we were lining up behind a bunch of people who were also riding their bikes so it was very very busy bike traffic over there in Montreal so before I go on to the details of the pricing I must say that as a tourist I really really enjoyed biking in Montreal I mean this was my first time in Montreal. I had no idea uh, of the streets, how it was on the road, but instantly I just felt very comfortable, very safe, and it just felt very convenient to use the bike. And on the following days, we ended up using Bixie a couple times more. Now let's go on to the pricing, guys, because at this point you might be wondering, but how much does it cost to use Bixie bikes? Is it expensive? Good news is that Bixie not long ago has switched over to per minute pricing. So instead of having one fixed price for the duration of 30 minutes like in the case of bike sharing in Toronto, Big C only charges you on a per use basis or more exactly on a per minute usage basis. There is a $1 initial charge to unlock the bike and that is why earlier you saw on my uh, ticket on my receipt that I was charged $3.45 so that was the price including tax. So that is just the initial price to unlock the bike and after that for each bike we we were charged a fee of 15 cents per minute because it was a regular Bixie bike. If you had used an electric Bixie bike, that would be double the price or 30 cents per minute. So this means that if you just want to make a very short trip and you're only cycling for about 10 minutes, then 10 times 15 cents would be $1.50 plus the $1 unlocking fee. So you would only end up spending $2.50 plus tax. So I really love this pricing model and I think that they should do the same in Toronto too with the bike sharing system here. Okay, one very important thing to note though is that there is a deposit and the deposit is $100 per bike. So if you rent three bikes, then you will be charged a deposit of $300. And by the way, a very important note here, if you are traveling as a group, you can only rent a maximum of four bikes per credit card. That means that if there are five of you, that it means that you can only rent a maximum of four bikes using one card and then you'll need to use another card to rent the other bike but by the way guys the one-way pass is not the only pass that you can get you can also get a membership but if you're only spending a few days in Montreal then it doesn't really make sense but just in case you're staying longer there's also a monthly membership and a seasonal membership so let's just take a quick look at that so a monthly membership for 30 days costs $18 and there is no unlocking fee here so you can can unlock the bike I think as many times as possible there is no restriction listed here the membership goes into effect on the day of your purchase and it already includes unlimited 45 minute regular big C trips as well as a reduced price so you can take unlimited 45 minute regular big C trips but here you need to pay attention once you go over 45 minutes on your trip then you will also need to pay 10 cents per minute and if you're using the electric big C then you will pay pay 12 cents per minute from the start. But note that this is still cheaper than if you were to use the electric Bixie with a one-way pass, which is 30 cents per minute. But of course, which one is cheaper really depends on how much you're planning to use it. Okay, and then there's also a seasonal membership, which costs $92. And this seems to only be applicable between April 15th to November 15th. So here it says that this membership includes unlimited regular Bixie trips of 45 minutes or less same as before if you use it above 45 minutes then it's 10 cents per minute and if it's electric Bixie then it's 12 cents per minute but the difference is that you're paying $92 for May, June, July, October, November five months instead of $18 for one month and then there's also this group membership so you can check that out for yourself and in case you're still planning your trip to get to Montreal then you can also check this video on VR Rail over here where I talk about my experience using VR Rail 
and also give you 10 tips on how you can make your trip as enjoyable as possible. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.